accuracy all the way from the right field corner right there to home plate. He also ran at the speed of light, making him one of the most complete players to ever play the game. I'm joined on the field by some very special guests. First, Ichiro's wife, Yumiko. Yumiko, thank you for being with us tonight. And thank you for your many contributions to our community and to Mariners baseball. Also with us on the field is Ichiro's longtime translator, Alan Turner. Here with Alan is his wife, Jamie, and their children, Jonah, Tad, Truly, and Ozzy. Thank you for all of you for being with us tonight. Also here with us tonight, on my right, from the Mariners, Howard Lincoln, John Ellis, Jerry DePoto, Katie Griggs, and John Stanton. I'd also like to welcome a few former Mariners teammates who are with us on the field. Say hello to teammates Mike Cameron, <laughs> Shiggy Hasegawa, Mike Sweeney, and Raul Ibanez. Raul was seven years. Also with us is former Mariner manager Don Wakamatsu. <laughs> former trainer Rick Griffin. And the two men who scouted each row for the Mariners, Ted Hyde and Jim Colburn. <laughs> You'll notice a few empty chairs behind me here on the field. It's time to meet the Mariners Hall of Famers. <music> Leading off, he was the first member of the Mariners Hall of Fame, the 1984 American League Rookie of the Year. Dave Niehaus called him Mr. Mariner, Alvin Davis. Hi, buddy. Here tonight, representing her husband and Hall of Fame broadcaster, one of the best in the game of baseball, the late Dave Niehaus. Please welcome our dear friend, I love her dearly, Marilyn Niehaus. Our next Mariners Hall of Famer anchored the Mariners pitching rotation for over a decade. He pitched on three Mariners postseason teams. A two-time 20-game winner with the Mariners. Please welcome back the crafty left-hander, Jamie Moyer. He was a bedrock behind the plate for every Mariners team that has made the postseason. He was recognized every year as one of the Major League Baseball's best defensive catchers. Say hello to Dan, the man, Wilson. <laughs> Next, the man for whom the designated hitter of the year award is named after. One of the best hitters ever in the game of baseball. National Baseball Hall of Famer, Edgar Martinez. He not only was the face of the Mariners for over a decade, but he was the face of Major League Baseball. One of the greatest and coolest players to ever play the game. A member of the All-Century Team National Baseball Hall of Famer, Ken Griffey Jr. And now, and 
And now the person we are all here to celebrate tonight, the 10th and newest member of the Mariners Hall of Fame, a 10-time All-Star, 10-time Gold Glove winner, and professional baseball's all-time hit king, the one and only, please welcome, Ichiro Suzuki. Ichiro, when you arrived in Seattle in 2001, you ushered in a new era of Mariners baseball. With all eyes on you, you responded with a remarkable season. You inspired and thrilled baseball fans everywhere. You played the game with your own unique style. You introduced us to a rare brand of baseball never before seen at the major league level. Fans got to know you by just one name, your first name and it quickly became synonymous with greatness. Please direct your attention to Mariners' vision as we relive Ichiro's extraordinary Mariners' career. Ichiro's out there in right field as we go to the bottom of the eighth inning. We're going to see the final curtain come down on Ichiro Suzuki. Now scout service pointing out to Ichiro. Ichiro turns around to the crowd, waves goodbye. His final game in the big leagues in the Mariners uniform, able to write his own final chapter. 19 years in the major leagues. A 353 career hitter over in Japan over the last seven years. Ichiro gets ready to make his major league debut in a Mariners uniform wearing number 51 on his back. And Ichiro is on the board with his first major league hit. Start of something big for him. Ichiro with his first major league home run. What a start for Ichiro. He's established a new Mariner rookie record of 15 game hitting streak. There goes Ichiro. This is one exciting young player. He is the stolen base champion. With 56, Ichiro throws something out of Star Wars down there. What a year for Ichiro. Here it is, number 1,000 for Ichiro. Holy smoke, what a player. And it is his time. Circus catch by Ichiro. Two, five, eight. My, oh my. One of the great moments in baseball history right here. Career base hit number 2,000. Number 3,000 in his professional career. The Seattle Mariners, Ichiro Suzuki. Inside the park home run in an all-star game. It is Brad Salamita! Ichiro will have a fun base hit. 27 game hitting streak. 10 consecutive years of 200 or more hits. It doesn't get any better. Ichiro said it one more time. Spider-Man is in right field. Not bad, huh? This guy is amazing. Ichiro can fly. Watch Ichiro run. Foul above that. Unbelievable. Get the flying thing. Strikes one more time. The standing ovation continues. Fire away, Ichiro. You are not too much. It gets better every time the guy moves. This young man is just electrifying out there. For Ichiro Suzuki's backward all began. What a grab by Ichiro. He's got the record. Oh, 
more hits than any man in Japanese history. Another Ichiro Saturday night in Seattle. And as far as the folks go in Cooperstown, you can go ahead and start making that plaque for number 51, Ichiro Suzuki. Young man, you did it all with style and grace. You all know Ichiro retired from the game in 2019 during the memorable opening series there in Tokyo, which you just relived in that video. It was a storybook ending to a truly remarkable career. Since his final game, Ichiro has stayed connected to the Mariners franchise. He and Yumoko live in our community during the season, and Ichiro works with Mariner players every day right here at T-Mobile Park in each spring in Peoria. He continues to help with the future of our organization and is always willing to help a young player connect to the game of baseball. In Japan, it's customary for a bouquet of flowers to be presented to a player or manager as a symbol of gratitude and accomplishment. So at this time, on behalf of the entire team, presenting each row with a congratulatory bouquet of flowers for his endless contributions to Mariners baseball, please welcome young Mariners outfielder Julio Rodriguez. Mariners team for being a part of our Mariners Hall of Fame presentation. While we're joined tonight by so many people who have played an important role in each role's career, there are three special guests who couldn't be here tonight. Now we all know Ichiro and Yumiko have always loved dogs. Their first dog, EQ, there's a photo of EQ on Mariners vision right now. Oh. EQ was with Ichiro and Yumiko from April 2002 through August 2019. After EQ passed away, Ichiro and Yumiko became parents to two dogs, KQ and Tenro. Ichiro, we have a very special congratulations video from KQ and Tenro. I'm not kidding. These are two amazing dogs. Please direct your attention to Mariner's Vision for one of the greatest congratulatory videos of all time. I don't know about you, but I understood every word they barked. That was too much fun. Thanks to Yumiko for capturing that terrific moment. Thank you so much. Now there is a long list of players that have enjoyed playing alongside or against each row. At this time, please direct your attention to Mariner's Vision as we hear from a few of the greats of the game. I found him very amusing. I found him very relaxed. I found him very confident. So I really felt that he could come here and, and, and be a great player, just a hitting machine. My favorite Ichiro moment is probably the first time we met. I met him in 95, we went to Benihana's, and we just hit it off. I love Ichiro. We have a common goal, and that was to be the best player that we could be. Greatness is the word that I think about when I think about Ichiro. Pure greatness in every facet of the game. And I think also he glorified a guy being able to hit the ball with the ballpark. He's one of the greatest players that ever played, Major League Baseball, period. 
You know, I was a big fan, big fan of him. When you're playing outfield and he's up, you got to get to the ball quick, or he's going to be on second or third, or maybe inside of Parker. So it's uh, you're always on your toes when he he was at the plate. え小さい頃から目標にしていました。えー、そういう方のビデオメッセージに出演できるのを少し少し不思議な気持ちですが、これからも目標にして頑張りたいなと思います。本日はおめでとうございます。Ichiro, my brother, dulce de leche. Congratulations on getting inducted into Seattle Mariner Hall of Fame. What an amazing career. こんにちは、松坂大輔です。千代さん、シアトルマリナーズ殿堂入りおめでとうございます。え僕は昨年引退しましたが、プロに入る前から千代さんの背中を目標に頑張ってくることができました。え僕にとって千代さんは憧れであり。尊敬する人であり、目標です。これからもその背中を追いかけ続けたいと思っています。またアメリカが日本でお会いできることを楽しみにしています。改めてシアトルマリナーズ殿堂入りおめでとうございます。松坂大輔でした。Ichiro, congratulations! The Seattle Mariners Hall of Fame induction. It's well deserved, and I know I'll see you down the road at a Netter Hall of Fame induction. Congratulations and have a great day. Itchy, congrats on being inducted into the Seattle Mariner Hall of Fame, buddy. Well deserved. You know, nothing was better than having a front row seat in 2001, watching you go out there and perform to win the AL MVP and the Rookie of the Year. I think it's safe to say you burst it on the scene. It's also safe to say that nobody was hotter the whole year than you. It was like two rats. Well, you know the rest of the story. Hey, how do you do it day in and day out? How do you do it? Hey, I love you again. Sorry I can't be there, and、uh, my best. And something tells me that Cooperstown is going to be calling not too distant future. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you congrats on that too, my man. Cheers, Kung Pai. Ichiro Omadetto. What a blast having you as a teammate, and welcome to the Mariners Hall of Fame. Each row. Just want to take a minute to say congratulations on being inducted into the Mariners Hall of Fame. Your commitment, your dedication to baseball is legendary, and specifically to the Seattle Mariners, both as a player and now even beyond.、Uh, what you do and what you have done for this organization is beyond measure. So, from the Wilson family, we want to congratulate you and Yumiko on an incredible career, and thank you for all that you've given the Seattle Mariners. Congratulations on the Hall of Fame. Next stop, Cooperstown, New York. Ichiro, congrats on getting into the Mariners Hall of Fame.、Uh, well deserved. I enjoy playing with you. Enjoy the night. It was wonderful to hear from so many great players. Ichiro's impact on our game is certainly far-reaching. Now to officially induct Ichiro into the Mariners Hall of Fame, please welcome Mariners Chairman and Managing Partner John Stanton. Thank you, Rick. Like something out of Star Wars. That was Dave Niehaus's description of a ball Ichiro threw from right field to third base, but in many ways it represented the impact that Ichiro had in landing in Seattle in 2001. He made an instant impact on the Mariners with his unique batting style from his first single in his first game. 18 years later, in a sweaty and crowded dining area in the Tokyo Dome. Ichiro told his teammates that he was going to retire from the game, leaving them teary-eyed and in awe. During his career, Ichiro redefined the leadoff position offensively and redefined third,、uh, right field defensively. He brought an element of speed back to the game, turning routine ground balls into infield hits. Ichi il illustrated the beauty of the game. Every aspect of his game was meticulously perfected. His practice and pre preparation were legend. 
While veterans were awed by his work ethic, he also connected with many young players. He built bridges with teammates and opponents from around the world by learning both Spanish and English, and he demonstrated that players of any size could be intimidating. He literally epitomized a new way of playing the game. Ichiro's arrival did not happen overnight. At the age of seven, Ichiro joined his first baseball team, and he began a routine of throwing 50 pitches, fielding 50 infield ground balls, 50 outfield fly balls, hitting 250 pitches off a machine, and 250 live pitches. As a little leaguer, Ichiro had the word concentration written on his glove. In seven years in the Japanese major leagues, he batting, his batting average was 354, which is still the highest of all time. He won three MVP awards, seven Silver Slugger awards, seven consecutive batting titles, and seven gold gloves. He was, by 2000, by far the most accomplished baseball player in Japan. Ichiro participated in an exhibit, exhibition series between Japanese and American All-Stars in which he hit 380 and collected seven stolen bases in that series. He won praise from all of his MLB counterparts, including Mariner Hall of Famer Jamie Moyer. In 2000, in 2000, Nintendo's founder, Hiroshi Yamauchi, was the majority owner of the Seattle Mariners and a big fan of Ichiro in Japan. That winter, he called Mariners chairman, Howard Lincoln, to insist that if Ichiro were available to come to the United States, that the Mariners be the team that signed him. As the result, The result was Howard Lincoln negotiated an agreement that brought Ichiro to the United States. Ichi burst on the scene 21 years ago and has been an icon in Seattle ever since. His first year was remarkable. He was voted both the most valuable player and the rookie of the year, becoming only the second player in history to do that, and he led his team to 116 wins. His 242 hits broke Lloyd Wainer's 1927 record and was the most hits by any Major League Baseball player in over 70 years. His perennial gold glove fielding led right field in this ballpark to be renamed Area 51. What you may not know about Ichi is that he has a great sense of humor. I love his laugh and his quick wit. Check out this wonderful Mariners commercial from 2010. Hey, Ichiro, grab a seat. OK. I may joke around, but I really think it's great that we get a chance to play together. I agree. It really means a lot to me. Me too. By the way, I put glue on that chair. Of course you did. Mariners baseball. Believe big. Junior! Like Ken Griffey Jr.'s return to Seattle in 2009, Ichiro came home in 2018 to finish his career. 
and played in that magical series in Japan in March of 2019. There are hundreds of records that Ichiro holds in baseball. I want to name exactly two that to me represent the impact he has played on the game. First, Ichiro has 4,367 hits. That That is the most hits by any player in the history of the game of baseball. Second, in one season, in 2004, Ichi hit 262 hits, which is the most hits by any player in any one season in the history of the game. Ichi is reverent about the game and the consummate student. On trips to Kansas City, he regularly visited the Negro League Museum, and during his career, he often met with representatives of Major League Baseball's Hall of Fame. We are honored today to have Ichi's good friend, Jeff Idelson, the past president of the Hall, and the current president of the Hall, Jeff Rarwich, with us today. Gentlemen, we look forward to seeing you in 2025. Ichi opened the door for other Japanese players. It's hard to believe that when he arrived in 2001, only 10 players from Japan had pitched in the American Major Leagues, and no position player had ever played here. Ichiro was the first Japanese-born player at, to play in the U.S. Major Leagues and paved the way for players like Hideki Matsui, our own Kenji Jojima, and Shohei Otani. Over the last four years, Ichi has helped guide and mold the Mariners and carried the Mariner culture to a new generation. To me, that is epitomized by a conversation that I had with him in spring training. I went to Ichi to ask him to throw out the opening day first pitch. He had exactly one request. He requested that Julio Rodriguez catch that pitch. Ichiro Suzuki is one of the greatest players in the history of baseball. He is a student of the game. He is an ambassador, a trailblazer, a mentor, and he is a mariner. And now it's time to honor him. Will you please join me in welcoming the 10th member of the Seattle Mariners Hall of Fame, Ichiro Suzuki. What's up, Seattle? Thank you, John. It is an honor to stand here tonight. It's also safer to stand here rather than go back and sit over there because, as you just saw in the video, Junior may, my, may have put glue on my chair. Of course you did. 
This must be Junior's way of making me give a speech. So here we go. 22 years ago, my life forever changed when I became a Seattle Mariner. I am beyond grateful to this organization and this city. Thank you, Howard and John, for attending. Thank you, Jerry and Katie. I am touched to have Chuck Armstrong here as well. I must also mention someone who is not here, Mr. Hiroshi Yamauchi. <clears throat> he was a longtime owner of the Mariners. I am forever thankful to him for giving me the, the opportunity to play in Seattle as a first position player from Japan. <clears throat> I am touched by the warm support of so many Mariner Hall of Famers who made time to be here tonight. It has been a pleasure getting to know Albin. Once a fan shouted to me, hey, I loved watching you and Albin play together. At first, I was insulted. <laughs> I thought, come on, man. How old do you think I am? <laughs> he retired way before I came here. <laughs> but then I thought, Albin is such a kind man, it would have been nice to be his teammate. So I didn't correct the fan. Three of my first teammates are here. Edgar. You were the most humble professional, and you haven't changed in retirement. Dan. You were our iron backstop on the field and our iron support in the clubhouse. And Jamie! <laughs> Thanks for coming all the way out here. As a lefty, you were so clever, but so talkative. <laughs> when I first met you, you kept talking to me in English for 30 minutes. And I had no idea what you said. <laughs> now, my English is a little better, but I still can't understand most of what you say. Even so, you played until you were 49 years old. And that is something I greatly admire. I am honored to join this new Mariners team. Thank you all for being here to welcome me in person.
And then there is a guy I like to call George. You know him as Ken Griffey Jr. <laughs> he was my idol even before I came to America. But in 2009, he, retired, uh, he returned to Seattle, and I finally got to be his teammate. Yes. He's a jokester, but for me, he's also a true professional. He helped me in more ways than I can express. <laughs> Being his teammate is truly one of my career highlights. Thank you, Marilyn, for representing the legacy of your husband, our legendary broadcaster, Dave Niehaus. My, oh my! And Rick, Holy smokes, thank you for being here too. I am pleased to have my wife Yumiko here. This honor would not be possible without her. Together, she has faced all the challenges with me in the journey to this moment. Thank you to my longtime interpreter, Alan Turner. I am pleased to have his family here. They have given me great support for my entire career. I also appreciate a number of others who have given me great help over the years. They are in the stands tonight. I am sorry that my first manager is in Seattle, Lou Pinella. Hmm. Cannot be here tonight. One of my first memories here was created by him. When we returned to the clubhouse after winning my first opener, Lou kissed me <laughs> right here on the cheek. The manager gave me a big wet kiss. That doesn't happen in Japan, and I was shocked. Honestly, I was scared. <laughs> I thought to myself, if this is the custom in America, I might not make it here. <laughs> Remember, we won 116 games that year. I wasn't ready for 116 kisses 
from the manager. Thankfully, I carried on, and I am so grateful I did. Even though I retired as an active player, baseball and Seattle have never left my heart. Baseball will forever be my soul, and my mission is keep, to keep helping both players and fans appreciate this special game. Now, I am honored to serve as special assistant to Chairman Stanton, a position that allows me to work with players in spring training and during the season. Most days, I still wear the Mariners uniform, and I do so proudly. I want our players to know I am with you in your fight to be the best. I was 27 years old when I came to Seattle. I could never imagine my career in America would last 19 seasons. That, and that I will still be in Seattle today. With that in mind, I would like to say to the current players, your future has possibilities that you cannot imagine as well. So embrace it by giving your best without imposing limits on yourself. If a skinny, undersized guy from Japan can compete in this uniform and then stand before you tonight to accept this honor, then there's no reason you cannot do it either. Of course, you will face struggles and frustrations. I know because I face them every year. Without imposing limits on yourself, you must find the desire and the passion to overcome those daily challenges. That is a way to maximize your potential. Then, you can achieve the unimaginable. And finally, to the outstanding fans of Seattle, you cheered loudly for me as a new player that first game 21 years ago, and you never stopped. When I returned in 2018 
It was as if I had never left. The passion with which you welcomed me back touched my heart. It is one of the best memories of my career, and I will never forget that feeling. It is my greatest honor to have played for you as a Seattle Mariner. I will keep doing my best for you and the Mariners. Thank you. Making it official, Junior and Edgar presenting each row with his Mariners Hall of Fame jacket. It fits. I would never ever give each row any advice, but I'm gonna give you some advice. Save that speech. You're gonna need it in three years. Each row. You'll forever hold a revered place in Mariners history and the history of baseball and right here in the great Pacific Northwest. Fans, thank you all very much for being here tonight to honor Ichiro. Have a great night planned for you throughout the ball game. Celebrate one of the greatest players to ever put on a Mariners uniform, Ichiro Suzuki, the newest member of the Mariners Hall of Fame. Enjoy the ball game, everybody. I would describe Ichiro Suzuki as a very fun, energetic baseball player. You get to see it on the field, the way he plays. He's a kid on the field and just loves having fun and loves playing the game. Every single time that I hear his name or he's going to be down here, I always feel real personal about, you know, just knowing that he was a part of our club. It really meant a lot for me.